And with that, I would like to welcome Thomas Jensen, Managing Director of iCatalyst, to uh, share with us um, Empower Innovation. So just take it away, Thomas. And when you say next, I will click the next slide. Great, great. Thank you, Thomas. And thank you, Clean Start and Gary for the opportunity and uh, look forward to sharing information uh, on Empower Innovation. And it's a free site and I hope that uh, people that are not members will join, takes a couple minutes. Uh, and then if you have an organization, we have nearly 500 organizational members now. It's also free to create a profile for your organization so you can help promote it through the network. Empower Innovation is funded by the California Energy Commission. Uh, it has a long-term funding commitment. I've been working on Empower Innovation since about 2016, uh, including the proposal with Navigant or Guidehouse and then uh, Skipso Labs, our technical partner. I'll just introduce myself a little bit more. Uh, so I'm in the North Bay. Uh, north of San Francisco. Uh, my brother and uh, two nieces and a nephew live in Sacramento and I love Sacramento. I spent a lot of time in Sacramento over the years. My background is really in kind of three things. One is, is consulting and iCatalyst is a consulting company that is a sub to Guidehouse on the tech to market program that the CEC has. Uh, and we do uh, open innovation consulting, primarily building and managing networks, but also training and some strategy work. And then um, I know Gary through a nonprofit that I'm a co-founder in called Entrepreneur Futures or EFN. And EFN works with uh, several universities around the country, Princeton, uh, Cal, Caltech. Uh, we've also worked with UC Davis uh, on entrepreneurial programs, primarily around uh, training and engaging mentors to work with students. Um, so thanks, Thomas, for the shout out about the growth hacking webinar next week, October 7th, it's free. Uh, that is done under EFN. Uh, so um, if you wanna turn the slide, um, Thomas. Great, and I'm ha happy to connect with people on LinkedIn um, or otherwise. Um, uh, so, um, uh, so I'm going to talk generally about Empower Innovation and what the value proposition is and what benefits it provides to different stakeholders involved. And then I'll, I'll give a, uh, a demo and, you know, we can take some, some questions. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can, I'll be able to share my screen to give a demo in, in Zoom. So, the, so what is Empower Innovation? Um, and I'm not going to read the words. You can read the words. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I want to try to kind of speak from my own perspective on Empower Innovation. So, so the, the Energy Commission, and I want to say 2011, 2010, uh, uh, decided that they wanted to kind of expand what they were doing which was you know, primarily in R&D grants. Um, and they decided that they wanted to get more involved in the market. So uh, around that time, Epic was funded, which is an electric charge program uh, with about 150 million a year. So they formed a sort of a, a market function at the CEC where they decided that they wanted to try to fund some programs uh, to get involved and support actors in the market. And so Empower Innovation is part of this market facilitation or you know, market transformation program. And I think they wanted to do it because they realized that you know, they're, they're part of an ecosystem 
and actually a very important part in the early stage for uh, clean tech or energy startups, but they're overall a small part of the ecosystem. And I think they decided that they wanted to um, engage the broader ecosystem more. And that was the seed in terms of the idea for Empower Innovation. Um, and so the uh, so Empower Innovation is a, a platform uh, that's available worldwide and certainly throughout the United States. The focus now and the main value that we're providing is that we're aggregating a grant funding opportunities, but also pitch and fellowship opportunities uh, uh, around the country. Uh, I think we have about 170 active funding opportunities on the platform now, uh, and they're all, all curated. Uh, when we do the demo, I can kind of show you how to find things. So our, 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 we hope that we're saving people time and that we're uncovering opportunities, uh, whether you're uh, a founder of a startup, a student that wants to find research funding or a project developer that wants to get involved in some kind of demonstration project. We also um, have a great calendar of events and hopefully we're covering some of the events that are in the Clean Start ecosystem. If we're not, then Thomas, uh, let's talk and interact so the Guidehouse team can get the events on. Empower Innovation is at uh, w.empowerinnovation.com or .net. <clears throat> um, we also uh, make it easy for people to connect with others, particularly around teaming on uh, all the grant opportunities, not all, but for the DOE, NYSERDA, you know, other organizations where you can see what other organizations are interested in funding opportunities that you're interested in. And you can see their interest, like, for example, they want to, you know, somebody wants to, a city wants to provide a site or host a demonstration and maybe you're a, 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 an integrator or something like that. And then you can directly message on the platform uh, that member who's involved with that. And of course, connect and then, you know, take it offline, have a call take it to email or whatever. Uh, so there have been hundreds of people uh, uh, using that module on Empower Innovation to identify partners. And we know that there's been a number of partnerships that and teams that have been put together, particularly on energy commission opportunities. Um, so, and you'll get a better sense uh, for when this is put together. Empower Innovation is also a, a, a network and a partnership um, of, uh, of several partners, uh, primarily uh, CEC funded programs like CalCEF and CalSeed um, that you're probably familiar with, or many of you are probably familiar with but also Activate or Cyclotron Road. They're a big partner, Lacey in Los Angeles, Clean Tech San Diego. Um, I know that Jack's on from the WET Center, so Fresno State's a, a very important partner uh, supporting, you know, so we support them with respect to the WET Center, uh, Blue Tech Valley and, and Valley Ventures. Um, so if you wanna turn it to the next slide, that would be great, Thomas. <clears throat> So I was talking about funding opportunities. Uh, so funding opportunities, I, I think it's probably 450 or 480 now. Uh, about 480 funding opportunities have been published on the platform. As I mentioned now, there's about 169 that are active that represent about 2.5 billion in active funding now. We don't include uh, we don't have many uh, equity investment. You know, we don't have too much venture capital right now. That's part of the plan. We certainly have a lot of relationships with 
investment firms, uh, angel groups, and venture capital, but we want to get to the point where we have more of a critical mass of founders and startups. We've got about 400 startups on the platform now, 300, 300 to 400 startups. Uh, and then we'll try to add uh, investors. Uh, and I know that when we were planning the platform, I interviewed Gary and you know, we're still not there yet <laughs> in terms of creating value for you know investors, but uh, we are certainly creating value for startups as well as other organizations that are seeking funds for research and development projects. Um, so, um, and then I talked a little bit about find a partner and I can show that to you. Um, we've been adding functionality uh, uh, to the platform that, that we, what we heard was, and it kind of makes sense, right? Where uh, people may join these different things and we're all part of you know, this or that network and um, you may forget about it. Uh, you know, if you have to go back to the site to get information. And so what we've been doing is uh, adding more features, for example, where we, we have a monthly newsletter that goes out and then uh, between the newsletter every two weeks, there are three email digests uh, around funding opportunities. One that is targeted for startups, one that is for sort of cities and diverse communities, and then one is just the general grant funding opportunities. So those just go out and drop into your mailbox. And uh, we've got some good feedback on that where it, it just, you know, Help, helps people get a uh, get a little information, um, and they don't have to remember to come back to the platform. Um, one of the other features that will be implemented probably next week, we've gone through testing on it, is when when you made a a, a post on finding a partner for a particular grant funding opportunity, um, and then when someone else makes a post, another company makes a post, then you get a notification. So you can come back and you can see new potential partners and then directly reach out to them. So Thomas, if you could turn to the next slide, that'd be great. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do a, do a demo and I think we've got we've got some time. I, I definitely wanna leave, um, you know, quite a bit of time for questions. Thomas, we're going until about nine nine forty five. Is that correct? Nine thirty is the official time, but uh, we use we do nine, to go over. Uh, so, oh, okay, okay. So I'll I'll give a a, a quick demo. Um, I want to um, uh, maybe if you could go to the next slide, which is the to do, so people could be thinking. I don't. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm. Um, I would love it if you guys, if you're not members or if you haven't checked out Empire Innovation, that you check it out. And if you like it, take two minutes to join as an individual member. There's just two data points, two or three data points, your name and email. You won't, you know, we don't share emails with people. Um, the messaging is completely across the platform, but when you send a message or receive a message, uh, the recipient receives that message in your email and then you sign in and respond. Uh, so please join as an individual member and then consider joining uh, as an organization, of course, Clean Start. Uh, there's so many organizations that are part of, of Empower Innovation now. Uh, most of the major universities in California, including UC Davis, um, many, many accelerators, uh, everybody from the US Navy now to, you know, small seed funded startups uh, to Oracle in between to EPRI, just, you know, huge, huge numbers of organizations. And we're very pleased. We'd be delighted if you have an organization uh, that you want to <laughs> promote. Every new organization is promoted on the homepage that joins. 
And then, uh, as Thomas mentioned, uh, this free webinar uh, on, on the 7th. But let's go and let's just look at the site. Um, share screen. Okay, you should be able to see see the screen. So this is the home page. Um, you know, uh, really, uh, our our sort of the tagline, or you know, our value proposition is <laughs> to get timely leads on new funding opportunities, particularly now that you get digests of things that are new just sent to your email, and then you can click on them and further research them and find partners. Um, you know, our idea here is that we want to expand the tent in terms of people seeking climate solutions. Um, and so our stakeholder groups are, uh, are, are certainly startups, you know, and we call them technology innovators, um, but, but also uh, local communities uh, which are seeking solutions uh, and trying to find uh, ways of addressing problems funding providers like the CEC or the DOE uh, or others, uh, certainly companies and organizations that are adopting technology, and then um, architect engineering firms, and then what we call innovation services. It you know, could be consultants uh, and you know, certainly accelerators. So we welcome everybody and uh, we think everybody has a role in this overall ecosystem and marketplace. Um, these are just some organizations that, that joined recently. Uh, and uh, so the, the, main, uh, the main thing, and I'll be quick, Thomas, here. Uh, the main thing is um, on, the, <clears throat> on the funding opportunities, and I'm going to... See if I can, I don't know how to minimize this. I'm just gonna log in here. Because as a logged in user, you can do some other things that you can't do. For example, you can make a list and share it. Uh, you can message another partner or another member if you're logged in. Um, for logged in users, kind of their main page is your dashboard. You can see, you know, unread messages. You can go to your, you can go to your messages. Uh, and uh, and connect connect to people. Um, you can see your favorites in terms of you know tagging funding opportunities. You can see recent announcements. So um, you know this dashboard is is you know pretty useful. You can edit your your you know company profile here. You can edit your own you know personal profile, and then just back to the funding funding opportunities. Um, so, um, uh, so just maybe let's just choose like a, a particular area of, of clean tech, um, you know, like vehicles, for example. And I'm just gonna put, this is uh, integrated, this runs on Amazon Web Services and it's integrated with uh, Amazon Cloud Search. So we have pretty good um, uh, search functions. You can, you can filter by funding type, like a government grant. Uh, you can uh, filter by status, you know, active, anticipated, rolling. So these are all the actionable ones. Uh, and there's more that you can load related to uh, related to, you know, vehicles. You can also, uh, let's say that you wanted to uh, not do government grants and you wanted to, you know, find a competition prize, pitch event, accelerator opportunity. So there's not too much. Uh, well, I think because I've filtered so much here, rolling. Anyway, um, <clears throat> But the idea then is that uh, you can go ahead and uh, uh, make a list that you can share with people. So you click on the plus and then you come up here and you make a list, let's call it, you know, vehicles. Uh, and then you add the list and then you can send it to people. 
Um, they don't have to be members. You could just clip the URL. Um, otherwise, you could send them a message with the list, and then you could set it so they could edit it. So if you're working with uh, as part of the team at a company or uh, working uh, on a startup with other people, you can send them the list and then, you know, they can add or subtract from the list. Um, so anyway, I'll just stop there and uh, see if there, uh, see if there are questions. But hopefully you've got a, a sense for the, the site. Yeah, no, that, that's terrific. I mean, the, the biggest thing here is just the database function. Uh, 480 funding opportunities is obviously a factor. We're having trouble hearing you, Gary. Oh, really? Um, 480 uh, funding opportunities is... Still having some trouble. Well, I don't know. Okay. I can hear you, but I'm fairly, you know, you're fa fairly quiet, but... Um... Well, I think what Gary was talking about was the um, all the database of all the funding opportunities that you can browse and actually set alerts for. So if a new one comes up that might be in your area, it kind of curates a list for that for you too, right? Yeah, you get a digest, right? Now, is there a way yeah. to, um, can you just click and say like, hey, help me find partners with this funding act activity and then see a list of everyone who's looking for partnership opportunities? Yeah, so I am going to, uh, th the answer is yes. Um, uh, since, since I'm not, you know, we're not involved in, you know, bidding on mm -hmm. these opportunities, uh, uh, I have to log into sort of my admin account to, to show you what that looks like um, because I can see through the admin account which, which ones, you know, like the, the posts. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll just do that and then. Um, so, so I'm just going to do like an energy commission one. Um, CEC, let me just try the CEC, see what pops up. Um, yeah, so just this is a, this is one where the, sorry. So this is one where the RFPs are due uh, October 5th. Uh, which is, I think, nice. next Monday. Sorry about that. And so you can see, Thomas, down here that there are a number of organizations that have made posts. And so the way it works, the way it works is that um, if you make a post and then there's someone new who makes a post, you'll get an email notification so you can go back in and say oh okay well the city of richmond so for example the city of richmond made a post is interested in um finding a partner and then you could then directly message uh this person danae evans with the city of richmond so i think one of our principles is to uh, the, the the idea behind this platform is that you know we, we all, it, it's hard being a clean tech entrepreneur and we all need to help each other and so that's why we're trying to make it so that you know people that join really want to participate and help and you know and therefore you know they're making it possible for people to uh, connect with them uh, so how do you make a find a partner post you click the find a partner and then you put in your organization name and then uh, you can be as general as you want or as specific as you want. I know sometimes people just want to be general. Um, people can check out what you do at your organization, but sometimes people want to be specific like EPC services or advisory services or a technology solution or a demonstration site. I'm not going to fill it out because because I'm not I'm not participating in this one, but hopefully that you know gives you gives you a good sense for this. Um, are there more questions? And if we don't have time, and if you have questions, uh, you're more than welcome to you know reach out to me, connect with me on LinkedIn, or uh, the other way to do it is to uh, 
to join Empower Innovation, look for Tom Jensen. I have two accounts, one for iCatalyst and one for EFN. And just send me a message. I'd be happy to answer your questions or chat with you one-on-one -on, -one on how, uh, how we can help you, know, you and your organization uh, advance your work in clean tech. Now, I have, I have one other question. So um, there's other nonprofits that I work with that, might, that are interested in this. Now, is, are you, is it possible to manage multiple organizations from one account on this? Uh, yes. Uh, you just can't use the same email address. You have okay. to have a different email address, you right. know, which kind of makes sense. You know, like, like uh, for my EFN account, I have the Entrepreneur Futures email. For the iCatalyst, I have the iCatalyst email. So, yes. You just can't do it from the same email address. So, Tom, you've always been very creative at doing these sorts of things. What's next uh, in what's the next step in what you're going to do with the Empowering Innovation Network or anything else that you're creating? Because uh, people should uh, bookmark anything that Tom Jensen is doing. Eventually, <laughs> it turns into something you can't live without. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I feel the same the same about you, Gary and all the things that you've done and been so successful. Uh, so on Empower Innovation, you know, we, we, could, we wanna just kind of push the envelope and you know, drive what we're doing. We're expanding our affiliate partner program. Um, uh, we just in, in collaboration with the state put in a proposal to Amazon Web Services to develop a machine learning um, application uh, for Empower Innovation so that, you know, we have a lot of, we want to make it a big tent and we want to um, get people involved or give people an opportunity to get involved that are not clean tech experts. So they may know what their problem is like, a, you know, diesel exhaust from buses, you know, in their community, but they may not know what the solution is. And so the proposal is to develop a uh, AI machine learning system where someone could just in free form state their problem. Like I don't, you know, um, how do I stop sparking from power lines in my community? How do I, how can we find cleaner buses? You know, those types of things. Uh, um, so just trying to different, different things, you know, for, for Empower Innovation. Um, and uh, yeah, anyway, it's, 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 a, it's a great team at the CEC that we're working with and at Guidehouse and Skipso. And um, we, we've been pleased, you know, it, it basically launched in December, 2019. And, uh, you know, we're growing, growing steadily and, and slowly. Uh, and we, we just encourage, encourage people to check it out and join and, uh, and share it. And um, anyway, um, so thank you so much. I really appreciate the opportunity and, uh, and I can hang on if there's time and more questions. Oh, I'm sure there'll be more questions. And uh, Judy, Natalie, I see that you're still on the line here. Um, and it would be great if, if a lot of the funding opportunities and connections uh, uh, at ARB were in Thomas's database. Do you know, Judy, if, if uh, people are putting information into this uh, database from ARB? I don't believe so, Gary, because we have our own uh, funding tool in the Funding Wizard. So all of our opportunities, even under the CCI, the uh, California Climate Investment show up as part of the funding wizard. All right. Well, Thomas, there's a, a, another evolution opportunity for you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Because there's a tremendous number of, of important things that ARB uh, has. And um, people generally have, have said they have trouble uh, finding them. I mean, if they finally know where the wizard is, uh, we can get them there, but uh, just work with Judy Nottley and, and anybody she suggests to make sure that those links to ARB's uh, funding opportunity programs uh, are in your network. Great suggestion. I know that the CEC has had a few conversations with ARB, um, you know, on it, and 
yeah, would love the collaboration. In fact, later this morning, I have a call with the CEC and the Bay Area Air Quality Management District. They're interested in getting in more, more involved as potentially an affiliate partner. Yeah. Because they're doing more and more, as we all know, um, with their innovation programs. All right. Well, I, I think it'd be a good addition. Are there other questions out there? Yes. This is Mark Roost. Um, Thomas, good to meet you. Um, I'm working in a battery and solar energy startup uh, with the guy who invented uh, multi, uh, multi-junction multi thin film solar and got the patent back in 1983. And we he spent 13, seven years and 13,000 uh, electrodes getting to a point where we're almost to a full battery, uh, 4,000 watt hour per kilogram type battery, uh, non, non-lithium. So we're making an end run around the entire industry. And the he redesigned the solar he did the patent on back then and merged it with, or stacked it with a, with a NREL license, uh, CGI, CIGS technology he had licensed from them in 19... 19- in 2013 or no 1993 anyway he's redesigned that and he's looking at 48 percent efficiency which means twice the efficiency of today's most advanced commercialized product so um i we are a two-person startup living on social security we exhausted our funding four years ago um and so uh we're ready to climb out of the valley of death now <laughs> Um, Congratulations. <laughs> and I'm, I'm getting trained. I got, I went through Gary's pro and Thomas's program and, uh, and now I'm getting further trained with the Foundry Institute to be able to make things work well. Um, so I'd like to get involved, you know, to get the, get somebody in the state to recognize that if we put up a factory, if we put up a, less than a billion dollar factory, we generate um, 60 to $70 billion worth of battery sales per year uh, after the third, by the third year, it starts out at 30 billion worth. Our solar factory will be two, two high-end printing presses. And, the, and the, the, the idea for the battery factory is that it is a ceramic tile factory that does 50 million square feet of roof tiles or floor tiles per year. We change the stamping die and rearrange things a bit. And we come out with battery mini tiles, the electrode mini mini tiles, five centimeter by seven centimeter. by Wow. That's exciting. Yeah. And on the, and with two high end uh, digital presses like they use for currency and fashion magazines, we can, and a, and a laser firing system, we can make solar at a square meter per per second, and it'll be uh, 55 gigawatts, 55 million kilowatts of solar capacity per year. Yeah, are you uh, you know uh, are you guys looking for grant funding? Um, We're looking because- for any kind of funding we can get right now. Yeah. Well, it and, sounds like it's really a deep tech idea, and yeah, uh, you know, is. the um, you know the DOE has lots of funding opportunities coming out, and actually current. Um, yeah. Well, we've had problems. Yeah. <clears throat> they they are stuck on lithium, and we're and I've actually had them after I challenged them on one grant application or SBIR application, they started writing that non-lithium applications are non-responsive. Oh Mm -hmm. boy. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any other questions? Uh, Do you have connections with uh, AFWorks or Agility Prime in the Air Force? Because those people are open. Yeah, I do not. I do not. Um, We do post some Air Force uh, and other DOD opportunities you know, on the platform. Okay. Um, but I'm not, I'm not connected so much to that world. And what is future solution? I don't. You mentioned it. Oh, the nonprofit is you're talking about my nonprofit entrepreneur futures. 
Maybe. Yeah. I thought you said Future Solution, but I could have got it wrong. Yeah, yeah. So EFN is a nonprofit that mostly mentors and trains university students interested in, uh, you know, interested in innovation and entrepreneurship. So, okay. Yeah. Well, good luck to you. And I encourage you to join. And, uh, you know, if you see someone or a couple people, Mark, uh, on the platform, that uh, you'd like an introduction to, I'm happy to make an introduction, you know, over the platform. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sean. Hey, I wanted to mention um, Thomas and, uh, and Gary, I just sent you an invite to an ACM, uh, Future World Symposium coming up October 8th. And are you planning on being there? Um, I, maybe you know of it, uh, but this might be an opportunity, Thomas, also for you to maybe do a, you know, um, sort of a, a, a brief intro to this organization and what you're doing um, at that. Sure. Session. Oh, thank you. So if um, I'm moderating a panel on innovation, how it um, really transforms the work and uh, in, in the organization. And um, so I have some sterling um, CEO and founders like Pam Maroney of Maroney Bio and who just received a, an award uh, who Thomas knows very well. Um, and, um, and Carolyn Peer from uh, founder, co-founder at Humaxa and HCM and others. So it's a, but there's a, a lineup of uh, tech speakers. It's all about tech, uh, except for the panel that I'm host uh, moderating. Um, and it's all day on October 8th. So um, I've just sent the announcement along to Thomas and Gary, if you two want to forward it to Thomas uh, Jensen. And yeah, any sure. please. Just, Thank you. That'd be great. Love, and, to, love to check it out. Harsh Verma is um, R Systems. He's the organizer of the session. Um, his contact information I can get to you, and if you'd like that, um, through Thomas and Gary. Thank you, Jennifer. Sure, All right. appreciate it. Well, I want to thank everyone for coming and attending. Make sure you follow up and check out our next upcoming meetings, um, and check us out on social media. This was uh, done live. I also want to thank our program sponsors, EY Hacker Lab, which is where I'm at. That's why I've got the mask on here. Um, Reverend, who's helped us with a lot of our videos and our community of sponsors. One of them that's being added is Evolution, Evolution Innovation, who will be talking um, on the, I believe the 10th, about their accelerator and how they support companies growing. And with that, I want to, I'm going to stop sharing and uh, thank Thomas for giving us a great uh, presentation on it. Um, I feel Gary, a lot more confident. Round I feel of a lot applause more for Thomas. That's that's fantastic. Thank you. A lot of thank good you, stuff Thomas there. and Gary and Clean Start. I, I have a great I, opportunity. I'm glad. I always uh, love hearing about it because I always try to get people to go and sign up for it and say like, hey, you know, this is where you're going to connect with people, and you know, it's it's a place to start. Yeah, um, thank you for that, Thomas. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop.